Hi and welcome back to Mia's channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you one of my family's favorite pasta dish which is salmon and peas fuseli pasta. If you're interested let's get started by bringing our water to boil then add some salt. I put in some sea salt and some rapeseed oil and that is optional. I just like the flavor it gives to my pasta and 300 gram of fuseli pasta. Give it a good mix and let it cook following the cooking instructions marked on the packaging. And while our pasta is cooking, let's start making our bechamel sauce. Melt the amount of 2 tablespoons of butter in your saucepan on a medium heat. Then add 2 tablespoons of flour. You should use plain flour and then cook stirring constantly until the paste cooks and bubbles a bit. Mine took about two minutes. Then stir in half a liter of milk. I used semi-skimmed milk. Then add one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of paprika. You can use smoked paprika if you like the flavor of it. Mix it well. Grate in some nutmeg and bring it to boil until your sauce gets a bit thick. Two minutes before your pasta is done, add in one cup of peas. I used frozen peas. Once your pasta is done, drain it and place it in your baking dish. And if you are new to my channel, I post a lot of cooking and baking videos, so I would love you to subscribe for more content. And if you are already part of Mia's family, then thank you for your support and I hope you will enjoy today's recipe. Then add in 100 gram of ready to eat smoked salmon. I cut mine into small pieces. Then pour in the bechamel sauce we've made before and save some of it to add it in later. Now add the remaining bechamel sauce on the top and then top it with some grated cheese. Put it under the grill for 5 minutes or until your cheese is golden. And here's your fuseli salmon and peas pasta ready to serve. You can prepare this delicious and full of flavor pasta dish from scratch in less than 30 minutes. And I'm pretty sure you and your family are going to love it. As you can see, and because we didn't make the bechamel sauce too thick, that allowed our pasta to have some sauce in it. So I hope you liked today's video and if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more and thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye bye.